Generic greetings and welcome back Ish to Game Dev Tycoon. I say Ish because we are no longer the same company as previously because essentially we went bankrupt. There's nowhere to sugarcoat that. We did run out of money and then were bought out by EA, which is the ultimate insult. Either way, we have now reformed as G Spawn Games with Play Generic at the helm and also the game is now quite heavily modded. I'll go through the mods in just a moment, but either way, the plan is still the same. I was actually going to leave the series there after three episodes and just call it there because honestly I would had my fill with it it was okay but I was sort of getting to a point where you know what we were just sort of grinding into the nothingness we didn't really know where we were going there was no feedback and there was just the problems that I've mentioned previously in the episodes but it, it is what it is um but a lot of people said, why don't you get some mods on? Why don't you get a couple of mods on to add some more topics, some more features. Uh, there's one to do with competitors and things like that. So I thought, yeah, you know what? I will go for that. So we'll we'll give it a go. And these are the mods I've come up with. So, well, not come up with, but this is the ones I've got from the workshop. So we've got the standard uh, API for running the mods. We've got a library for, like, the backbone of some of these things. We've got a percentage here, which just shows you percentage on the sliders, which is fine. We've got learn by doing, which adds the ability to um, gain technology and um, research points and other things. Um, basically, every time you do something, whether it be uh, research, develop games, engines, or whatever, you gain some skill for the people that are working on it, so you don't have to train them up constantly. We've got a finance mod, which adds uh, loads of graphs and charts and stuff. We've got an expansion pack mod, which is the main mod that I think we'll uh, be seeing a lot of stuff in it, so it adds 80 new topics, 11 platforms, 8 new events, 22 new research options, and a couple of different features, such as custom computers. We've got a competitor mod, which adds, as you can see, competitors on the top left, and then a bit of vacation time, which allows you to send everybody uh, on vacation at once. There's a couple of the mods that I've tried. The cheat mod, just to see if it worked. You can literally hack money into the game. It's not on, you can see it's in blue, uh, in white. Blue means it's activated. And then we've got a DLC mod, which allows you to release DLC, but it's a bit buggy. And um, we've also got a grapple uh, release here. This is the uh, Grapentosh. For some reason, the game is not paused when you're looking at the... Uh, at the stuff there, which is why we've lost uh, almost 30k just by looking at those mods. Thanks, game. Anyway, yes, so we've got the DLC mod there, which I've not got on because it's a bit buggy. If you you go to release a game, and what happens is it says, do you want to release DLC? And if this game is successful, then the DLC will be successful. If it's not, then you will make money but lose fans, and it's really buggy. If you click no, sometimes it would just say, oh, but there's an instant DLC release. There's 40 grand, but you've lost loads of fans. So, yeah, we're not going to bother with it. There's been other ones that people have suggested, um, but there've been there've been a couple of problems with them and uh, I don't want to go too heavily down the mod side the main thing was to add the uh, competitors as you can see and just more features in it sadly I still can't find a mod that um, allows you to um, update engines rather than add it that's still my main issue uh, with the game but either way as you can see we've now got alternate history hacking hockey and swimming so we've never had these ones before I don't believe but we'll go for alternate history and we'll go for an alternate history adventure game and we'll pick it on the PC here it's going to, it's going to be called called um explorings no exploring histories there we go and 2d graphics and we'll start the game and hopefully we won't go bankrupt because as i said we did lose loads of money just by sitting there on the menu so you can see we now got percentages on the bottom here which is useful so we've got story and quests which is three pluses so we're going to give that about a 65 percent by the way i'm not going to be pedantic and alter it to every little decimal point i'm just going to roughly slide it to where i want as long as i've got a better indication now with that then that's good uh, in terms of the competitor stuff here you can actually um i'll check that in a moment hang on we'll maximize that we'll minimize that and this one can be about there okay so you can see, uh, we can click on all competitors and we can see uh, Kongami, which is Konami. We got Backbone Media. Um, I don't know what that would be. Black Fort Stone or Eagle Software is uh, Raven Software. I'm guessing Bulldog Productions is Bulldog. Uh, Minisoft, that's Microsoft. Black Wolf Games, uh, don't know. Um, Bionic Wear, that's uh, Bioware. Area Net, that's Arena Net. Uh, Ubicroft, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, and you can actually get, go to Game History and see what they release. So, Manic Military Park and uh, Topsy Turvy Pirate Operatives. <laughs> cool uh, and things like that and you can buy the company you can sabotage it like you can bankrupt the company with a, that's a debug option we won't be using that and you can hire scammers and stuff so maybe you want to do that later on I don't like the idea of that but um, you know what we might have a mess around with that later on just because um, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people saying go on do it do it do it so yes I might not be able to resist later on let's just go for a 50 40 split there on the world design 
and uh, we'll uh, crack this on. So we've almost finished releasing this. Uh, do you want to have a party? Yes, we'll have a party. So it's a massive success and people are now hyped for this thing, which is cool. As you can see, I've got little points not only going into the design technology, but also into this guy's skill, which is useful. And we're going to release, damn it. Ah... Uh, I clicked release just as a bug was being added. Anyway, so we're now going to release a game with a bug, which we're going to have to patch out. And also, we've not got enough money to continue the game. Although, we should be able to go into red, and then the game will be released. Let's go to... Oh, you've got finance options. You can see, like, graphs and stuff. There's our weekly expenditure. We'll go through them later on if we really need to. But either way, um, this is our first review. So, we are on... Four, not bad. Oh, there's one mod that I forgot to add on, and that was instantaneous uh, drop-down for the typewriter and for this so if it's a four five five six it's not too bad then but we will go to uh, research new topic and we'll go for a dungeon game because we're gonna make dungeon keepers so apparently the news says we've released our very first game yes now it's in our bank accounts in the red we need to make sure it's in the positive but we will be in the positive as soon as we sell, sell these games there we go we're number 79 in the charts, fine. But we're now, um, oh, we're going out with 11 fans as well. But we're now no longer on a negative balance, which is always a good thing. So there is our... Uh, research. What we'll do is develop new game. We're going to have it as a dungeon simulation, and we'll have it on the PC. It's going to be Dungeon Key... Keepers. It's going to be stylized. We're going to miss the E out as well. And we'll have it as 2D graphics. There we go. So the histories, uh, exploring history sales is not too bad. Uh, story and quest, we don't want anything that. We want gameplay very high, engine very high. So we'll go for probably a sort of 40, 50, 10% split uh, going from left to right there. It looks like the grapple has been released. So that's the, uh, or the grappentosh rather from grapple. We're not going to do anything with that. We'll just stick on PC, I think, for now. AI needs to be high. Dialogue's low. Level design needs to be quite good as well. So we'll stick it about there. Uh, in terms of the competitors, Area Net is the highest with 1.3 million in cash with a lot of fans. Kongami, which can army, and then uh, Backbone Media. Looks like uh, Nevento is going to be releasing stuff. There you go. Like I'm getting technology points for doing this. Uh, so we want level design low, graphics quite high, sound quite high. We'll actually put that up a bit to about... It's already on 10% at the bottom, so we might as well leave it about there, and that'll do us. Right. So we've still got enough cash to continue going here, so by the time we uh, get rid of all the bugs and put some more points into designer technology, we should be about right for our release. So we'll just squish the bugs, one, two, three, and then you can see we've got a speed increase there, and then we will get it out the door. Looks like Exploring With History is now off the market. Um, there's a new sales record. Job done. I'll drop all that down. We will immediately go to Generate Game Report and we'll go for Exploring With History. Exploring History rather than Exploring With History. Although I'm sure that's a YouTube channel. Um, so, reviews for Dungeon Keepers. Uh, we've got 7, 8, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8, 7, 8, 7, and that's it. Okay, well, that's, that's that's it, I guess. And, oh, it looks like Dungeon Keepers is uh, flying off the shelf. So, alternate history and adventure is an okay combination, and gameplay seems to be not very important for that type of game, apparently. So, we're going to do some research, and new topic, we've got uh, a rage game. Don't know what rage game would be. <laughs> rage game. <laughs> Uh, Dungeon Keepers, uh, I tell you, this, this game is a rage game now and again, <laughs> although a lot of games have rage inducing elements, but is there actually a, ra a game that's about rage? Well, there, there's a game called Rage, I believe it was an ID uh, software um, game, and it was not very well received, I think. I think there was a couple of bugs with it at release and stuff, but uh, hey ho. Uh, research once more, and racing, science, or oh, racing is always good, making Donkey Kong is always a really, really useful thing for making lots of cash. As you can see, cash is going up there. We are no longer on... Oh, I don't know if we'll show up on the competitors because this is, after all, competitors. Um, but hey-ho, let's go to... We'll, we'll say a rage game. A rage action game. I really don't know what that is. And we've also got a... We've also got the grape and tash. Should we, should we develop on that? Uh, we'll pay the license fee. Why not? And we're going to call it rage. Rage... Rage, hang on, G, E, Z, E, Z, like that, there we go, and we'll have it as 2D graphics, I have no idea what this is going to be, 
for Rage. But uh, we'll see. Uh, so we'll do the gameplay alterations here. I think that's a decent split. And immediately scratching his head. I think we've got a new hairstyle from the last episode. We've certainly got a new shirt, but I mean, we're wearing the same shirt for three episodes, which is uh, not very hygienic, but hey-ho. So that's about right in terms of the balance. 75k in the bank. We should be okay until we release this, and hopefully Rage will do quite well. Obviously, we've got vacation time on, on the left showing there, but we don't need to do anything because this guy does not go on vacation. Uh, you can see it says play generics. Never. We never go on uh, holiday. So it looks like the, the Tez has been released, and we just need to get rid of the bugs, and we'll see what Rage sells like. Looks like... Arena nets on the top there with 1.4 million bulldogs rising up as well. And we will release it. So let's just see what this is like. So we've got new record in terms of our technology and some experience there. We'll go to generate game report and release uh, do a uh, game report on Dungeon Keeper. And so here's our first reviews coming in. It is apparently apparently Rage is okay. It uh, very enjoyable by Star Game. Six shows potential by Inform Game. Six I like it, and seven beautiful. Don't really know what the game is. Still don't know. Um, maybe it's a very arty game. <laughs> Who knows? So we will go to research. We could go for a custom game engine. Oh, we could go for Werewolf Science Survival. Oh, let's do a survival game. Yeah, let's make a survival game because, well, there isn't obviously enough on the market. Um, press my talent. I'm in the contracting business, apparently. So that guy's going to give us contracts if we need to get them at some point. And that's been released. There we go. So a develop new game. We're going to have it as a survival game. We'll have a survival simulation game on PC. I do want to go on this. Uh, now we'll go on PC. And we're going to call it um, Rusts. There we go. Rust. Genuinely one of the worst games I've ever played. Not knocking Rust. I actually think it's a very... Um, it's a decent looking game. It seems to be fairly cool if you've got some friends and stuff. But playing it single player, spawning in, having no clue. The first... The, my first experience was running around and getting shot in the first by arrows, saying hi to people, getting killed, wandering around a map that was um, full of loads of trash, and then get killed again. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's not for me. It's not for me. I can't say it's a badly designed game, although I haven't played it enough to really comment on that, but uh, one of the worst experiences I've had. <laughs> uh didn't like it. Wasn't for me. Let's just put it like that. Anyway, so we'll get rid of the bugs. Uh, design technology is in there. And then we will finish this. So let's see if this game does as well as Rust, because that's sold about a bazillion copies. And we will release the game. Also generate a game report straight after for Rage, which is on the uh, Grape and Tosh. Or, what's the Simpsons version of uh, Apple? It's uh, Mapple, isn't it? Or is it Pear? Or is Pear GTA? I can't remember. Everybody... Uh, has the analog of uh, of Apple, so there we go. So there's our game report being generated. There's Rusts, and it's um, it's not too bad. So Rage and Action is a good combination. Sounds to be quite important for this type of game. And platform matches, great. Top action is great. Apparently, oh, good. Uh, oh, it looks like Rusts is selling. Okay, develop new game. We're going to go straight into the uh, swimming simulation game I don't really know how that would work um Olymp Olympic swimmings simulation game we could have a text burst but no we'll have a 2t uh, so gameplay is important engines quite important in this case as well so we'll have it about uh, there okay and let's see what this thing's like. The reason I didn't do another topic is because I want to make my own game engine at some point. And that's why I'm saving up the points, you see. So now we're on 50 research points. But we also need a couple more points just so to uh, just so we can uh, research this stuff to go in the engine. Um, looks like that's all going to be the same. So 200k in the bank. Nearly 400k fans. 400k fans? 400 fans, rather. <laughs> Don't think we're going to have 400k fans in this episode. But also, we're not look, it's not looking like we're going to go bankrupt, which is always fortuitous. So let's do a research and custom game engine. 
It's going to take a little bit of a uh, little while to get that done. Here's the release, uh, the reviews for swimmings, and it's seven. It's beautiful, so we've got nice water physics there. Uh, so it's quirky but good. Fun in stages five, and five have seen better. So apparently they've seen better, so they've seen other people make um, swimming games. Fair enough. I should have called it Swimming Simulator, shouldn't I? Damn it. Okay, that's going to be the sequel. And looks like we are just about done on the engine. There's the engine. Okay, and new research available for game tutorials, mono sounds. So we'll go for generate game report on Olympics. Ah, no, 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 cancel, cancel. Ah, I'm, I'm doing it on Olympic swimming. Oh, well. I selected the wrong one, but we'll do it for both, to be honest with you. There's the first one. We won't get as much research out of this, and much options. Um, swimming and simulation, bad combination. Gameplay seems to be very important. Level design, quite important as well. Okay. So we'll do another game report on the Rust's game. And that'll generate us even more research points. And that'll tell us what the deal is as well. Uh, looks like... Oh! Itara announced their first platform they called the Itara 5200. Wow, Atari. And look at the wood grain there. A little bit of wood grain and little brushed stainless steel. Very, very nice. Lovely. Okay. So, we'll get this out the door. Come on. Come on. There's the report done. And, yep, yeah, seems that there's some... I didn't even read it. I just went, yeah, next. We don't care. What we need to do is go for game tutorials and also for the other um, tech. And then we'll make our own engine. So, recent studies suggest that increasing variety of gaming devices creates a market for more specialised games. And looks like we'll have, yeah, target audience is now researched as well. Not that we're going to be able to do that because of just how it is. Um, we don't have enough points. Uh, don't forget to create a custom game engine. Yes, I am aware. I do want to create my own game engine. I'm not going to make it now because I want to go to... Yeah, mon I need to get mono sound. So what I'll do, I'll develop one more game, which will have a um, hacking simulation game, and we'll have it as hacks. I said I was gonna, <laughs> I did that as the full first episode, and then I said I was gonna stop it in the next episode, and then lots of people said in the comments, no, keep the Zs, <laughs> keep them going, and I don't know why. Uh, it's just it's similar when I used to put G something or other at the start like gen it's just stand for generic or whatever game But um, yeah, there's only so much you can go with that one before you go. Yes, I understand what he's gonna put here generic footballs game, etc Anyway, let's see, if I'll see what hacks is gonna be like Hopefully it'll be as good as the film the vacuum cleaner While you're working on your game someone knocked on the door It was a man wanting to sell you a vacuum cleaner. Do you want to buy the vacuum cleaner for 4k? Denounce him, ask him to leave or buy it. A 4,000 generic units of currency slash generic credit vacuum cleaner is quite an expensive piece of kit. Um, <laughs> a 4,000 pound vacuum cleaner. That has to be either the best vacuum cleaner you... Like, that would suck your house slippers off. That would... And then your socks would disappear, everything. The cat would go walk in front of it. Inside the tube, they're gone. Um, or, it's really crap. Either way, I want to find out. Um, after... You buy the vacuum cleaner. After doing the garage cleanup, you win the prize for the most clean gaming industry garage. It'll increase the hype of our game. <laughs> Right, that's a thing apparently. That's yeah. I'm happy with that. That's cool. Um, it looks like the 5200's been released. You can see uh, Bulldog Productions now on Cash Three Mill, which is uh, slightly more than me. In fact, it's ten times more, more than ten times than what I've got. But either way, there's our bugs uh, squished. We have got Design Technology on 14, which should be a new record. Yeah, and we've also got new topic, new combo. Hype 9, this should be a decent game. Uh, we don't have any... Uh, we do have research, we'll do mono sound. And Venner is confirmed it's going to release a console as well. So it's nice that the Atari stuff's in here. Uh, there's actually... Um, let's see what this is like, hacks. Um, there's actually a, another mod that I was going to get, but I didn't. And it was um, very early computers. So like the... Uh, I think it's like an Einstein. There's um, a Pong game. And there's like the Turbo Graphics and stuff like that that are all in there. Which I haven't got. But... Um, yeah, I, decide, I decided not to do it. I think I thought that we had enough mods with what we have here. 
So anyway, there is uh, research for mono sound done. We're going to want to do more, more research on target audience, but we can't do that. We will just create a custom game engine there. It's going to be custom game engine uh, one game tutorials mono sound a lot. So it's going to be called the G Engine version one. And there we go. Costs 150k to make, but obviously it's going to be worth it in the long run. And let's just see. Oh, look at our technology going up there. There we are. And eventually we'll get this done. Hax is still selling quite well, which is always a good thing. And I think want. Come on. Come on. Stop scratching. More typey typey. There we are. And once this is done, I think we will develop a new game, but I don't know what we'll develop. We have got enough research points, though, to probably go for... There's the Master V released, and our game engine is now complete, and Hax is off the market. So we can also do a game report. Uh, oh, that's game history. Hang on. It is generate game report, Hax, and we'll start doing that. But I think we will leave it there. Not a bad first episode, but the first episode is always... You, if you if you fail on this one, you're doing something very, very, very wrong. Although, to be fair, we did come close to that because of the, the whole weird bug where you're looking at mods and it still have the gameplay in the background. But either way... We will leave it there. Next episode, we will hopefully move into the new office. As always, if you have any ideas, suggestions for games we could make, then let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.